So Forager has been released within the last few days and I was curious how to achieve its movement and camera style in Unity, since I never done a game like this before. I started creating a prototype and posted the result on Reddit, with the question if someone is interested in a tutorial. Well, I think I've got an answer. So let's just start with the movement today. If you want me to make a video about the camera or animations, just let me know in the comments. Just create a new scene in Unity and import or create a new sprite. Attach a rigid body 2D to it and make it static, because we don't want to apply gravity to it. In my case, I've got this little guy here. But don't worry, you can add art later or just go on with your simple sprite right now. Okay, let's start by adding a new script to our player and call it player movement and open it. First of all, let's just change our update function to fixed update, because we will calculate physics. Now create a new vector 2 called player input to store the vertical and horizontal input of the player. Let's do so in the fixed update method. Assign the input by writing player input equals new vector 2 input.getAccessRaw horizontal for the x input and input.getAccessRaw vertical for the y input. GetAccessRaw is the input on the written axis, so left and right for horizontal and up or down for vertical and clamp it to 0 or 1. So to visualize it, just make your player input public. Hit the play button and take a look at the inspector. If you now press VRSD, you can see your vector 2 changing. This might help to understand how the input works. Now you can just assign the input to the richest body velocity. Create a rigid body 2D called RB and assign it in the start method by typing RB equals get component rigid body 2D. And in the fixed update, you can now just assign it by rb.velocity equals player input, because both of them are vector 2. If you now hit play and move around, you will notice that you are really slow. So to fix this, just create a float called move speed and multiply it to the player input. You can adjust the move speed in the inspector, but I will go with 5. Basically, you are finished now, but you will notice something if you move diagonal. You are much faster. But don't worry, we can fix it very easy by normalize the player input. So go back to your code and just add dot normalized to your player input before multiplying the move speed. And it's done, you can move around now and create your own base for a forager like game or just a 2D RPG. If you want me to show you how to add sprinting or the camera movement and the animations, just let me know in the comments. You can find the source code on Patreon, link is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.